Chapter 8 is on antioxidant function. The first part of the chapter is potentially confusing on what exactly is oxidation, antioxidants, and so forth. Oxidation is defined as a chemical reaction in which molecules of a substance are broken down into their component atoms. Uh, the atoms then lose electrons. Again, that's kind of a chemistry definition. Uh, oxidation is a normal part of biochemistry and sometimes it produces free radicals. Free radicals are in essence unstable versions of atoms or molecules that want to become stable by reacting with things. And if they react with things, they tend to damage them in the process. So your notes list a variety of disorders, diseases, that are at least somewhat linked to oxidative damage to molecules or cells. Now, antioxidants work against oxidation and free radical damage by giving the free radicals something to react against instead of reacting against the rest of you. So, some vitamins are antioxidants. Some minerals serve as cofactors for antioxidant enzymes. An enzyme is a, a protein that is a biological catalyst, and a cofactor is a mineral nutrient that helps an enzyme work. And of course, there are phytochemicals, naturally occurring substances found in fruits and vegetables and grains uh, that are antioxidants as well. Uh, there is a section at the end of chapter one that discusses phytochemicals. Now, the nutrients involved, uh, I've given you uh, some details in your notes and I do expect you to know uh, recommendations and sources and so forth in your notes. Uh, vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin. It's an antioxidant that protects blood cell membranes. Um, when you don't get enough vitamin E, um, it causes urethrocyhemolysis, the red blood cells rupture. Uh, it's kind of a rare situation because vitamin E is widespread in foods. Vitamin C is ascorbic acid. It is a water-soluble vitamin. Its primary role is to make collagen in the body. Uh, be sure to read and study the recommendations and note that the recommendations are different for men and for women, and they're different for smokers and non-smokers. Okay? Um, sources of vitamin C, of course, include uh, many fruits and vegetables. Everybody knows about citrus fruits, but you can, you know, red, uh, green and red peppers are quite high in vitamin C. Vitamin C also enhances iron absorption, which is something we bring up later when we talk about iron in another chapter. Now, uh, the vitamin C deficiency is scurvy, which is uh, rather uh, uncommon, but it has to do with the inability to make collagen and the tissue breakdown as a result. Beta carotene is one of those carotenoid pigments. It's actually a type of phytochemical. It makes some of the colorful fruits and vegetables uh, have their bold colors, such as orange things, green things, uh, dark green things, red and yellow vegetables. It's an antioxidant, but it's also a precursor to vitamin A. In other words, we make vitamin A from it when we eat beta carotene. There is no RDA set for beta carotene other than vitamin A, and getting too much beta carotene only produces the characteristic side effect of having a yellowish or orange tinge develop beneath the skin. Vitamin A, also known as retinol, retinol, retinol or retinoic acid, is involved in antioxidant function. It's also involved in vision. Uh, vitamin A deficiency can lead to night blindness uh, or even permanent blindness in severe cases. Vitamin A is also important for uh, skin health, epithelial tissue health. Um, beta carotene is a dietary source of vitamin A, but vitamin A is also found in preformed fashion in animal derived foods, and liver is pretty high in it. Selenium is a cofactor for an antioxidant enzyme, and I give you a couple of selenium deficiency diseases uh, Keishan disease and Cauchon Beck disease. Uh, some other mineral cofactors are mentioned in your notes, although I don't elaborate them because they're discussed in other chapters having other functions as well. The section on phytochemicals uh, is actually at the end of another chapter. There's a table that lists the types of phytochemicals. I don't really go into too much detail in terms of testing on them. I just want you to be aware of them and where you generally uh, uh, find them. Now, of course, disorders related to um, antioxidant function include cancer. Uh, and cancer is uh, abnormal uh, cell division, abnormal cell differentiation. Unhealthy tissues take over healthy tissues. Be sure to read over my notes on that concerning risk factors and uh, types of tumors and, and so forth. It's, it's all there. 
Heart disease we covered in a previous chapter, but the oxidation of LDL cholesterol leads to plaque formation. So it's involved in the development of, of atherosclerosis as well. Uh, oxidative damage to the eyes can result in cataracts, and it can also uh, be a, a contributing factor to macular degeneration. Uh, this concludes the review. Uh, be sure to go over the notes for the relevant details.